What's up, boys and girls, children of all ages, adults of a certain age, welcome back while you're away. Your heroes farmed one point, no, 101 trillion gold just for you. Uh, patch notes, great. Get it out of here, patch notes. So guys, the first episode, I was a boy. This episode, I have become a man. So, clicker heroes. There's an enemy right here. You click on them, they die. You can see his health's going down already because you purchase these heroes on the left who do damage per second for you. You can see in the upper left hand corner I'm doing 471 billion damage per second. That's why their life is going down so much. Click the gold. And every time I click it does 9,423 million click damage. Now something I learned. Every time you see the, the, the level here that they're on, every time you see that shake, a big, there he is, big number pops out. That's a critical hit. So here's the deal, guys. This is one day, almost 24 hours exactly after the first episode, uh, after I recorded the first episode. I've learned many things, many, many things. First of all, you can upgrade your heroes with skills. You all know this. Now, ooh, jeez, that was a weird noise. You all know this. Now I know it. So, uh, as you level up your characters by clicking these buttons and it spends the gold you've earned, it levels your guys up and then you get these little uh, squares underneath them and you can click on the squares to upgrade them. So for example, Sid, the helpful adventurer, is the f your first uh, female compatriot. She gives you, uh, she boosts your click damage. So my click damage is boosted to the max here. Now every other uh, hero will either upgrade their own damage that they do or they'll upgrade the team damage or give you like an extra bonus over here. So check this out. As you go all the way down here, I've upgraded everyone to the max. And most of these things like, uh, let's look at Alexa the Assassin. The first upgrade was Critical Strike, which increases my critical click chance by 3%. So it increases the chance of me getting one of those big clicks. Her next one was Clairvoyance, which uh, improved her own damage by 125%. And then Poison Blades, it increased her damage by 125% again. And then she increased my critical click damage again. And then she unlocked the skill, plus 50% chance of critical click for 30 seconds. That's Lucky Strikes over here. So these are like bonus skills you can use once in a while. So that's kind of the way it goes. Now I'm going down here. Let's go through our heroes. Sid the Helpful Adventure, she's our first gal. Tree Beast, he does. He is upgraded to level 100, and you can see he does 0% of my total damage. I have in the Drunken Brawler. He's upgraded to 125. He does 0% of my total damage. Brittany the Beach Princess, the Wandering Fisherman, Betty Clicker instead of Betty Crocker. There's a lot of funny stuff in this game. The Masked Samurai. Leon, who is like a, a, a lion dude. Uh, the Great Seer. Here's the Great Seer is the first one who gives us 0.09% damage. That's the first one they can actually calculate. The reason for this is because as the heroes, uh, the new heroes come in, they do huge damage. They do so much more damage than the previous person. Uh, you get down here, we got Mercedes, Duchess of Blades, Natalia the Ice Apprentice, Alexa the Assassin. Like in the first few hours of the game, she's like badass. And she does 0.11% of my carrying damage. You go down here, we get Bobby the Bounty Hunter, which is a knight with a jetpack. Broil Lindy, Broil Lindoven, the Fire Mage. Sir George II, the King's Guard, two King Midas, and they, they each have a cool little story. Raferi, Gerator, Ice Wizard, and Abaddon. I don't, I haven't hired Abaddon yet. A great being has taken material form to discuss the massacre you've performed. He demands payment and offers a compelling amount of power in return. Perhaps you should do what he says. They each have a cool little story. This is like a super powerful wizard who tripped and froze his own head with ice. King Midas is the king and wants the gold. And Sir George abandoned him to come fight for me. And then there's like funny stuff like this dude is trying to like trick out his jetpack so he can impress one of these girls. Like it's a funny story. But now you see up here, level 60. We're approaching level 60, which is a large beast. Now, you have 30 seconds to kill this boss, right? Look how little damage we're doing here. He has 107 trillion HP, which is just absurd. I don't even think we have the ability 
to kill this guy. But check this out. Here's what we're going to do. I have this little trick I can do with my hand. Hang on. My hand's all cold. Where I can click that fast, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to activate all these power-ups and see if we can kill this dude. So we're going to wait. All right, we're going to flick back, and the timer resets whenever we flick back. And if the timer resets, nothing bad happens. He just gains all his life back. So check it out. We're going to do this. One, two, three. And I'm doing my hand check. We're not even close, dude. We need to get half of his life down by 15. And we're not even half of his life by 15 seconds. This is not going to happen. Oh, my hand hurts so much. It's not happening. It's not happening. Ah, stop. Oh, God. Oh, God, the noise. Oh, God, stop it, please. Dear Lord. Okay. <laughs> so we were not yet strong enough to kill that guy. Which means we gotta upgrade. Referee Gerador, Ice Wizard. He does half of my total damage. 37%, 5%. It's pretty much all to like these top two dudes up here. So we're gonna upgrade Referee Gerator, the Ice Wizard. And you can see his current level, he does 368 billion damage. His next level will do 490. Now he's got this skill here, which doubles his damage, increases his damage by 100 per spent. Per spent. <laughs> this spell will allow Gerator to cast his spells more effectively because he can see clearly. We're gonna defrost, we're gonna take that ice cube off his head. Very smart. Why don't you just talk to the fire mage down here? I'll hook you up. Okay. Um, oh, wait, hang on. He fought Gerator. This mage is the most efficient means for turning gold into fireballs. Lindovan was hired many years ago to oppose Gerator in the Third War of the Skies, but it's well known that he only won on account of his physical miscalculations, export complete, uh, of his opponent. Yeah, so this dude, Broil B. Ref referee. <laughs> Um, which is crazy because this territory does like so much more damage. But check it out. We're going to upgrade these dudes. Here's a bag of gold. Increases all gold found by 25%. That's actually super important. And I think... Is this more important? Increases his damage by 100%. But he only does 3.81%. So I'd rather get... I'd rather increase the gold with this... No, no, no. With King Midas. Increase all gold found by 25%. That would be huge for us. And we need 40,000 billion for that. And right now we've got 38,000 billion. See, rather than adventure capitalists, where they list crazy numbers that you never heard of, in this, they list weird expressions of numbers you have heard of, which is almost more difficult to read sometimes. Hello. Game froze. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, we're back. I think they pushed the Steam update or something when we were playing, so... Uh... Yeah, that was not right. All right, we're back. So hang on, we think we're buying this King Midas upgrade, right? Yeah, bag of holding. This space bending bag can store things much bigger than itself. Get Midas one of these so he doesn't have to haul his fortune around with him in the midst of battle. You mean my fortune, bye. That's gonna get us plus 25% gold. Oh, and here's what he does. He increases gold like an mf or baby. That's his thing. That's awesome. So we're gonna have to upgrade King Midas significantly. And it looks like we can increase Sir George's damage, too. We'll do that. Offensive strategies. I no longer protect my king. He has lost his way, and I'm in your service now. He's willing to learn new fighting strategies. Very nice. Okay. So, heart of gold. Midas can find more gold from your enemies. When it, where it comes from, you're not really sure. These are riches beyond belief, he says. How can I thank Sir George? That's right. They're all, everyone's happy now. This is great. So, okay. I want to hire this dude, Abaddon, because he does incredible damage, but we're a ways off from that. 
and we're not even close to being able to kill this guy. So that's going to do it for Clicker Hero today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting this series, and we will be back with more later on. I will seize you.